What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to take a database table and export it to an Excel file using Python. So let us get right into it. All right, now this video is going to be split up into two parts. If you're only interested in taking an already existing database table and turning it into an Excel file, skip to the second part. You will find the timestamps down below. In the first part, we're going to create a database using sample data, using artificially generated data so that we have something to work with. The actual conversion will happen in the second part. Now for this video, we're going to need two external Python packages. If you're only interested in the second part, you're going to only need one external Python package and you can install these using pip. So pip or pip3 install and we're going to need faker for the first part and pandas for the second part. So pandas is what you definitely want to install in faker if you want to create a database with some sample data. So once you have these two packages installed, we're going to start with the first part, which is to create a database full of sample data. So create dbpy is going to be my first script. And we're going to say here, uh, import SQLite. Now I'm going to use a SQLite database here. However, this approach works with MySQL with Postgres, it doesn't really matter. What you have to do is you have to have a connection object from SQL Alchemy, for example. Uh, and then you can just pass it to pandas. In the case of SQLite, you just take the basic connection object and you can pass it as well. Uh, then we're going to say from faker import faker with a capital F. And then we're going to create a database connection. Now in the case of SQLite, this means connecting to a file. So loading the database from a file, if the file does not exist, it's going to create it. So our database will be person data dot DB. And then we're going to define the cursor to be equal to connection dot cursor. And we're going to execute a simple create statement, which is going to be a multi line string here, create table person with the following columns ID, which is an integer, and the primary key, then uh, name, which is text, age, which is an integer, address, which is text, phone, which is text and email, which is also text like this. So this is a simple create statement for the table. And now what we want to do is we want to generate some sample data, which is realistic, and we want to insert it into this table. So we're going to say faker equals faker. And we're going to say for I in range, let's say we want to have 500 rows, what we're going to do is we're going to say name is equal to faker dot name. And then the H is going to be equal to faker random integer minimum is going to be 18. And maximum is going to be 80. Step is going to be one. So we have all these values in between the address is going to be equal to faker dot address. The phone is going to be equal to faker dot phone, not surprising. And the email is going to be equal to faker dot dot email. There you go. And then we're going to execute the insert statement. So we're going to say insert into person, let me just scroll down a little bit, uh, name, age, address, phone, email, values. And then we're going to use a prepared statement question mark, question mark, question mark, and so on. So like, this. And this, of course, needs to be a string, it's not a string. So let's add quotations here. Um, yeah, basically, those are the placeholders. And now we can fill them up by passing the values, name, uh, age, address, phone, email, that basically executes the insert. And in the end, what we want to do once everything is done, connection, commit, connection, close. So when I run this, I get a problem because it doesn't have a phone, because the actual function is called phone number. There you go. Table person already exists. Let's delete the database. Let's run this again. There you go. And now I can connect to the database in PyCharm, for example, I can open it. And I can say, select everything from person. I can run this. And you can see down here, we have all this data which looks kind of realistic, right? So this is now our database. And now what we're going to do, this is now the second part, we're going to take this and we're going to export it. 
um, as an Excel file. So we're gonna create a new script, export SQL Excel, and here we're gonna use pandas. So now we're gonna do again, import SQLite 3. And if you use something else, just use SQL Alchemy and provide a connection object, depending on a database. And then we're gonna say here, import pandas as PD. We're gonna connect to the already existing database in this case, which is again, person data DB. And we're gonna get a data frame based on the content of the table by saying PD read SQL query. And then we're gonna say select everything from person. And we're gonna pass the connection object here. This is going to give us a pandas data frame. And now it's quite simple to just export it to Excel. So DF to Excel. And I can say person table dot xlsx index equals false. And then we're going to say connection close. So I can run this. And what you will see is I have this file here, I can double click it. Um, or do I have to actually open it in files and then double click it? Seems like that. And now you can see I have the database content as an Excel file here. And of course, what you can also do now is you can just take this and export it as a CSV file or as whatever format you want that is compatible. So to CSV also works, I can just run this. And uh, actually, I overwrote now the Excel file. There you go, CSV file works as well. So yeah, this is how you can take the content of a database table and easily export it as an Excel file or a CSV file in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.